Now let's go live to CBS News' Jeremy Ross. He's in Evanston, and Jeremy, Evanston got walloped today. Yeah, good evening, Rob. Good evening, Erica. Neighbors here describing only about a 30-minute time frame where the storm rolled through, but that was more than enough time to do significant damage. Take a look at the area right behind us. You can see trees. You can see leaves scattered across the pavement. Right over there, you can see an SUV buried underneath a tree. As for the road, it's been closed down for hours. The rain fell in sheets of water. The wind pushed through in concentrated bursts of air. What Mother Nature lacked in duration, made up for in intensity and power. Sheeting rain, like you couldn't even see out my windows. Trees toppled over in Evanston, taking with them portions of the sidewalk and part of a playground. Neighbors say at least a half dozen cars off of Harrison sustained damage from debris. This is Erica's shower curtain. Neighbors, like Leela Robb, try to stem the water damage here and elsewhere. Further down the street. So this is not your car? No. Why do it? Why not? <laughs> I was literally expecting to see like the Wicked Witch go by on an umbrella and trees fly up. Lisa Sparrow's home was damaged by debris. At least one other house was hit as well. Fortunately, no one inside was injured. Part of her roof was ripped off, but the storm did little to damage her perspective. I am so thankful that that is all that happened because I was home working, my two children were home, and it just scared the daylights out of everybody, and I'm so thankful. Evanston police are telling us that there are no reports of any injuries. Many neighbors here are without power this evening. The cleanup begins tonight and certainly will stretch through tomorrow as well. Live in Evanston, Jeremy Ross, CBS 2 News. Rob and Erica. Thank you, Jeremy.